can't just run only one deck, two decks. You have to be a complete player that understands every single part of the game. Hey everyone, this is Joshua AC Sharon and welcome to Clash Royale League 2021. We are kicking off this year with a deep dive look into some of our favorite decks from CRL history, sharing tips and tricks to help you master your deck building strategy. This is Deck Me Out. Starting with 2017, we have a winning world championship deck played by Sergio Ramos. Minor, Control, Poison, and Pekka. Uh, it is such a strong deck because it really gives you a chance against any kind of matchup. You know, even something like Lava, you only have an E-Wiz, you only have a Minions, yes. But if they do Lava, you can go in with something as simple as a Minor Goblins push, you can go Banda at the bridge, you can do Pekka you know, behind your King Tower and try and, you know, overwhelm, get that counter push going. There are so many different ways to play this deck, which is why he was able to do so well with it. Your first ever Clash Royale champion! The band and takes it! Sergio Ramos wins! Next up, we have this Hog Control Cycle variant uh, by Elsiop from Nova Esports. Out of, like, any of the decks that I've really ever played, Ice Wiz Control Hog variants are probably one of my favorites easily. It's so fun to play, uh, and it's just such a strong deck overall. Basically, all you do, uh, you spam hogs at the bridge whenever you have that in cycle. Uh, you try and get chip damage throughout the game, and then you just try and pull off crazy defenses. You have E-Drag, which is going to stay alive to basically any spell that they could possibly use. And so when you spread out your E-Drag, you spread out your Ice Wiz, and you get those Tombstone Nato defenses, you kind of flip the script, you kind of flip how the matchup is getting played. Uh, it looks like you're down and out, and then all of a sudden you pull off this crazy defense where you're up for Elixir and you have a counter push, and that's when you go in with the Hog, that's when you go in with a Fireball, and you try and take those wins. Nobody's the first ever CRL World Champions! And now we have 2019, Surgical Goblin, aka the biggest name in all of Clash Royale history, running Splash Yard. You have it again, you have Ice Wiz, you have Nato, this time it's Baby Dragon instead of E-Dragon, and this time instead of Hog Cycle, you're going Graveyard. In the, the 2019 meta, uh, Graveyard was unbelievably strong, the reason why pros love running it is it's all about outplaying your opponents, giving yourself a chance to win no matter what you're going against. You go in with Knight Graveyard, and then he has this really strong counter push, and then again, you know, you go in with the Ice Wiz, Baby Dragon, Nato. This time, you have Bomb Tower as well, helping you defend against Expos, defend against any kind of push going on. Uh, you keep going in with the Knights, you keep going in with the Graveyards, and eventually you wear him down. At the end of the day, you are going to win that game. And finally, we have the year 2020, Ruben from Team Queso running a Mortar Graveyard. I mean, here we have it again, Graveyard. These players can just focus on trying to understand what their opponents are running, and then that's how they win the game, just by reacting. 20 seconds into the game, they already understand how they have to win that game. Uh, the other thing is with this deck, when it's 1000 HP on both towers, that's when you can really turn up the heat. Triple Elixir is where it gets crazy. You always have a Mortar down on offense, you always have a Graveyard coming down. You never let them stack those pushes. Your opponent thinks he has you, like, he has you in a box, and that's when you get aggressive, that's when you win that game. Team Queso completes the reverse sweep, and they are your 2020 Clash Royale League World Champions! All four of those decks, they're, they're all control-based. It's all about understanding what you're going against and reacting to it. All of those players, they played it absolutely perfectly. As you all know, 2021 is coming in with this, this new dual format. I'm so excited to see what's going to happen with it. It's not about just being good with eight cards anymore. It, it's about understanding this game to give yourself the best chance in order to win this tournament. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next time for more tips and tricks. My name is Joshua AC Sharon, and this is Deck Me Out.